All right, Mexico has just six days to stop the surge of migrants across our southern border or face escalating tariffs from the United States. Mexico, though, warning that both countries would be impacted. They decide finally to apply the tariffs next week. The tariffs could be very costly for the U.S. economy, the consumers in the United States, and the Mexican economy. So how will the tariffs impact the U.S. economy? Joining us now from the stock swoosh is Melissa Armo. Thanks for being here. Good morning. So what are we looking at? How are we looking to be impacted by this? Well, definitely this is going to be a huge impact if, in fact, the tariffs go into place. So they, they have less than a week. I think it's a lot easier for the U.S. to deal with Mexico than it is with China. In other words, this could get resolved in the next week, but nobody really knows. And if it doesn't, it still might get resolved in the next 30 days. China, the issue with tariffs with China is a bigger problem, I think in the long run. M many Republicans, including some of the president's biggest supporters, like Chuck Grassley, hate this idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, tell us wh why. I mean, it, wh why is he doing this if well, he can't even get his biggest supporters on board? I know, but honestly, this is a brilliant tactic by Trump in okay. order to get some action about what's going on with the drugs coming into the United States through Mexico and also the illegal immigration. If, in fact, Mexico would be cooperating, he wouldn't have done this. And actually, as you know, I watched the market. Yeah. Eight o'clock on Thursday night, the market started tanking. And I, I was look, sitting at my computer, I said, what on earth? And then I saw the news come out. And that is is what I'm saying was brilliant about it because it was unexpected because it's trying to force the issue with Mexico to cooperate. And one of the reasons why Trump is different compared to other presidents that we've had in the United States, I mean, I'm going back to the beginning of time here, is because President Trump is a businessman. And when you're in business, you must take action in order to be profitable and survive. In politics, so many of these politicians that are career politicians, all they do is talk, and there's no action involved, and nothing gets done. At least Trump is attempting to get something done. Now, will it happen or not? Nobody knows. But I believe Mexico will be a lot easier to deal with than China. Mexico, though, is our third greatest trading partner, of $500 billion. So, Hopefully something can get done. We buy a lot of fruits and vegetables from Mexico. Yeah. So, you know, but the illegal immigration is a problem. And not only that, you know, all the drugs coming into the country. Right. Yeah. So let's take a look at uh, this graphic here. And it's talking about the different increases that the president pr plans to put on Mexico if this issue is not resolved. And you can see there 5% on June 10th, 10% uh, an increase there on July uh, 1st. And that goes all the way up to 25% on October 1st. I think, though, a lot of people are sitting at home saying, OK, though, how is this going to impact me specifically? What types of goods are we talking about? We know when this went down with China, a lot of farmers here in the Midwest anyway say that they were impacted by that. So, so how is this going to impact people on a personal level? Well, if you go and you buy, like I said, if you buy an apple and it happens to come, or a strawberries and it comes from Mexico, avocados. whatever whatever fruit, yeah, avocados, avocados. Right. Whatever, that's the big one, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, the point is, it might be a little bit more, or the stores might absorb the cost of companies, but what I'm saying is consumers and corporations should be under no illusion that these tariff issues are going to go away anytime soon in the broader spectrum. Yeah. So, for example, he set it out 5 percent, 10 percent like this to try to give time right. so that it doesn't impact people in a big, big way. Because 5 percent obviously is small, but it puts pressure on Mexico. China is a different situation. Right. China is not going to give in to the pressure. That's why I'm saying the Chinese situation is more important. And I don't know if you are aware of this. 20% of the world's population lives in China. No, it's a, it's I, a billion is people over here. It's to amazing. Me. Let's, take amazing. A, let's take a look at our biggest trade partners here because this is important to show. China's the biggest, $660 billion in a year. Uh, you look down there, though, $611 billion with Mexico. Mm -hmm. Now, the president says when everybody talks about how hampering this could be to our economy, that it's not as bad because we can go buy products from other countries where the That's tariffs right. don't exist. We can cut out that country, impact Mexico more than it impacts us. But can you do that with all the products that we bring in from Mexico. They, they build a lot of our car parts, like we said, avocados, you well, know, they're things that are special. Well, this is going to affect automakers. Ford and GM, those yeah. stocks have been down for a while. Those companies have been struggling for years and years, way yeah. before this. So it's definitely going to affect the automakers. And like I said, we, we get the fruits. But as far as Walmart, Target, big corporations that can absorb some of these costs, they will try to absorb them, I think, instead of increasing the cost for consumers. The smaller companies won't be able to do that. But there's what I'm saying is that Trump is trying to do this for the big picture 
out six months, 12 months, right. 24 no, months no, out. No, we get that. So but a lot of people yeah. say Long up time. until that point, though, how will I be impacted? People are that's gonna what people worry about. It. They're going to either have to buy places where they're not increasing the cost or they're going to have to cut back or they're going to have to change their spending habits. Overall, though, I'm saying there's there's so much more at stake here right. for the bigger picture. Yeah. Yeah. Than no, just no like a paying that. a little bit more right. for a light bulb. And so that's what Trump understands that. And you got to give him credit because he's going into the next year into the election. And it's almost like he says, well, I'm doing what I want to do. And I'm doing what I think is right for the American people. And I don't even care. And if this it is why his most re-election. politicians don't pick exactly. these fights because they are politically unpopular and all they care about is getting reelected. But I think he does get yeah. reelected. I yeah. honest to God think he all does right. because the economy is doing so well. Well, there's still a lot of time. Melissa, so we thanks will see. so much. Melissa, Bye. thank you. 38 minutes after the hour, the president is not above the law. That according to Hillary Clinton, who just weighed in on the impeachment talks. But is she? Social media sounding off on the hypocrisy with a strong message for the failed presidential candidate.